This tutorial will guide you how to reset Qubit Torrent settings to default. Now ensure that you follow these instructions very carefully. Now the first thing you need to do, first close Qubit Torrent. You can come here to the system tray, look for the Qubit Torrent icon, right click on it and then select exit to close the program. Now after closing the program, now go to this directory here if you're on Windows PC, which is C users and then you see username, app data, roaming Qubit Torrent. Open the Qubit Torrent folder, you'll see this qubittorrent.ini and ensure that you delete this qubittorrent.ini. After that, when you start the client, it will be just like you installed it fresh. So press window plus E to open the file explorer on Windows PC. Select this PC here. Now go to the program where your file is installed. Now my file is installed on the C file here. After going to C, now just go to users and then you'll see the username folder. Now here's my username. Once you open your username, you'll see the app data. Now, if you don't see the app data, just click here on view and then select here on show and then ensure that hidden item is checked. Once hidden items is checked, you'll see the app data. Now open the app data folder, you'll see the roaming. Now open the roaming, look for the QB torrent folder. Scroll down and go to Q. Now here's the QB torrent folder, open it. Also open the QB torrent folder, you'll see this QB torrent.ini file. If you don't see this .ini, select here on view again, go to show, and then you'll see an option which say file name extension. Ensure that file name extension is also checked, and you'll see this qubittorrent.ini. What you need to do, just right click on it, and then ensure that you select delete to delete this .ini file. After you have deleted it, then you can relaunch the qubittorrent client, and just after it opens, it will look like you have installed it fresh. Now, if you've done so, but are still facing again the same issue, Maybe you can uninstall the QB torrent and then reinstall it back again. Now I'm using Revo Uninstaller. You can just search it on Google and download it. Also open, also open this Revo Uninstaller. Now look for QB torrent program. Here's QB torrent. You just need to click on QB torrent, right click on it, and then select uninstall. Then after selecting uninstall, select here continue, and this will start uninstalling the program. Select here next to uninstall the program, then select here uninstall and QB torrent will be uninstalled. Now select here, close, cancel, and then cancel this Revo Uninstaller. Go to this website here, which is forcehub.com slash qbtorrent.html. The link will be available on the description of this video. Also on this page here, make sure to download it based on your device. Now I'm using Windows. Make sure to select the latest version, which is this one, which is the current version, which is 5.1.0. If you're on Mac, make sure to choose Mac OS or just choose the programs that is compatible to your device. Now, after downloading it, go to your download section and install the QB torrent. So let me go to it. Here, the QB torrent setup. Run this desktop. Start to install this program. Click next. Then select the accept. Click next. Select next. And then select install. And the program will start installing. Then select finish and the program will be installed. That's it. You just need to either follow the instructions in order to reset your QB torrent settings to default, or if you can't follow the instructions, just uninstall and then reinstall it back.